All right, um, we're just gonna add the cable for the uh, RGB header uh, on the Wraith cooler because it's actually the ring is RGB compatible. So where my flashlight is, is uh, there's a little rubber cover and that's actually the way you plug the cable in. So I'm just gonna pull that out and you can see it opens up the container. We've got this cable that comes with it and this end is gonna plug in there. So there are these little grooves uh, in this side, so hard to see, um, and you just want to make sure those line up. It can only go in one way, so goes in like that. Uh, basically, the metal parts will be towards you. So you need something hard here, either a screwdriver, a knife, or, or your fingernail, just to kind of push in the edges, that I just make sure it's plugged in all the way. Yeah. Anyway, then the other end will go into a um, RGB header on your motherboard, so you need one of those. And uh, Yeah, so it's that white one is actually where the header is. Okay, so okay, so there's a little arrow on the cable that comes with the um, AMD Wraith RGB cooler. Anyway, that arrow is the 12 volt uh, connection. The other three is the, the RGB for the colors. So you really want to make sure that that arrow lines up on the bottom pin on the Asus motherboard. That's how the uh, motherboard set up. So the arrow should go on the bottom. So here, the arrow is on the bottom. And there you go, with the full RGB on the right cooler. Or obviously, I would really want to route this cable behind the case. Tuck it in and out of there, and then have it come out up there. It would look a little better. Um, but this is just temporary setup for me.